The Great Salt Lake is a western landmark and a beautifully unique ecological wonder. It is ranked as one of the largest lakes in North America, excluding the Great Lakes in the east. It is the largest salt lake in the western hemisphere and is the eighth largest salt lake in the entire world. Equally as impressive as this is the fact that the Great Salt Lake is a remnant of ancient Lake Bonneville, which used to cover much of Utah. Today, the lake stretches across about 1,087 acres of northern Utah and is nestled in the deepest depression of the Great Basin. Here, fresh water is what primarily feeds this lake through the Bear, Weber, and Jordan Rivers. The lake is also the largest terminal lake in North America. We call it terminal because there is no outflow from the lake except for evaporation. Because of this, all the salts and minerals get trapped within the lake, making it extremely saline, even more saline than our oceans. Besides salt, the lake also collects nutrients such as phosphorus, carbon, and nitrogen, and heavy metals such as lead, mercury, and copper. Many of these metals and nutrients come from upstream sources such as agriculture and big cities. The Great Salt Lake is a beautiful and complex ecosystem. Because we have such high salinity levels, the lake is unable to support fish. However, we do support an abundant supply of both brine shrimp and brine flies. And both of these invertebrates are extremely important in supporting wildlife and migratory birds, as well as our economy. In fact, we supply over one half of the world's brine shrimp cysts. The lake is critical to the ecological and economical health of Utah. It is one of the largest migratory bird refuges in the Western Hemisphere and contributes over $1.3 billion to Utah's economy through brine shrimp and mineral harvest, water assimilation, ecosystem services, and recreation such as water sports, hunting, fishing, and bird watching. The Great Salt Lake wetlands serve as a critical interface between fresh and salt water. Not only do these wetlands provide many different ecosystem functions, they provide critical habitat for many different species of migratory birds and wildlife. These wetlands account for 80% of all Utah wetlands. The lake and its wetlands face many threats today. Some of the biggest concerns are development near the shorelines of the lake and our wetlands, as well as nutrient-rich runoff from upstream sources like agricultural and urban developments, as well as increasing salinity levels and heavy metal accumulation, invasive plant species, and water loss due to upstream diversions and climate change. With the exception of large flooding events in the 1980s and seasons with a high accumulation of snowpack, the Great Salt Lake is seeing decreasing water levels and water availability is critically threatening our lake and its ecosystems. Upstream water diversions used to support Utah's booming population and agricultural growth greatly reduces the amount of water that is allowed to fill the lake. Also, because of climate change, there has been a great reduction in the snow that comes from the lake effect, which has overall greatly reduced our yearly snowpack. Without protecting the water rights for our lake, our lake will continue to shrink, which will cause huge impacts on both wildlife, economical, and human health, which has been seen in other areas of the world where terminal lakes have dried up. There are so many ways to enjoy Great Salt Lake, such as going to visit the wetlands to see the thousands of migratory birds that occur, as well as coming out to the lake to enjoy a nice saline float. Come experience the well-hidden secret and ecological wonder that is the Great Salt Lake.